cropping is one of the most fundamental techniques that is used in image processing welcome back to learn open cv in this video i will introduce you to the concept of image cropping and patch generation using open cv not just that but i'll also teach you how to practically implement these techniques using open cv and python all right let's get this started but before moving any further let's understand what cropping is it is the process of removing outer parts of an image to improve framing alter aspect ratio or emphasize on a particular subject it turns out that there are multiple unique use cases for cropping let's have a look at them one by one to understand the key differences focusing on key subjects cropping can highlight important elements within an image by removing distractions This is the first technique that is used for reviving photo scans of old film pictures. Composition improvements. By adjusting an image's composition to follow principles like the rule of thirds, a basic shot like this can be framed into an amazing shot like this one. Data augmentation for deep learning. Cropping is one of the most common techniques used as part of an augmentation pipeline for training any image-based deep learning model. This is mostly because it enhances the diversity of training datasets for better model generalization. Privacy protection. Cropping can help with removing sensitive information from images before sharing. Just like the example shown on the screen. All right, let's hop on to a Google Colab notebook and quickly implement this cropping technique using OpenCV and Python. Initially, the necessary packages such as CV2, matplotlib and requests need to be imported. In the same cell there is also a URL that will download a sample image into the notebook for this demonstration. In the next cell OpenCV's imread method has been used to read the input image. The image has also been resized. We also need to visualize the image that has been read, right? For this matplotlib has been used to plot the image. Along with this by printing image.shape we can print the shape of the image in this case it is a 333 by 500 image with three channels as shown in the print statement since the image has been passed as an array we can directly perform slicing operations to perform cropping the syntax for cropping using slicing has been shown on this notebook as well and is highlighted for your reference basically for obtaining a clean crop from an input image we need four parameters namely start point on x axis start point on y axis width of the cropped image and height of the cropped image and there you go we can observe that the cropped image has been shown in the notebook along with its shape printed below it great wasn't this easy if you're enjoying using open cv then why don't you check out our open cv boot camp which is available for free all right now let's explore the concept of patch generation It is a process that involves dividing an image into smaller fixed size segments or patches for detailed analysis. Cool. Let's quickly hop into the same notebook and practically implement this patch generation technique. Run the initial cell which will download a sample image into your current working directory. We will use this image to implement the patch generation technique. Similar to the previous cropping implementation, the first step is to read the input image. and here a copy of that image has also been created along with that the image's height and width has been retrieved using the dot shape method in the next lines m represents the height of the patch while n represents the width of that patch on the other hand x1 and y1 represent the starting point in the x and y axis of the image representation respectively Now I know that many of you would be kind of intimidated by looking at this complex and long conditional logic for patch generation. Don't worry, I'm here to make it simple for you. Basically, it generates and saves patches of an image. It goes through the image in steps of m pixels vertically and n pixels horizontally. Then it does a boundary check. If the remaining part of the image is smaller than m cross n, it stops processing to avoid incomplete patches. It also does some edge case handling where if a patch extends beyond the image's width or height it adjusts the patch size to fit within the image boundaries before cropping and saving. In the end for each position x comma y 
it crops an m cross n patch saves it as a jpeg file in a directory and then draws a green rectangle around this patch on the original image you can also see the generated patches in the end of this notebook and that's a wrap for today's video make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting computer vision content if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to leave them in the comments down below thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one